What's up everybody, King of Fumble here coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure you follow me over there on Telegram as well as my uh, chat, which is going to be linked in below, t.me slash King of Fumble 1. And also on top of that, make sure you guys are subscribed to my newsletter. This is in the description of all of my videos. It says King of FOMO altcoin alerts. If you click on that link and sign up, I don't send emails like every day or even every week. I send them every couple of weeks, to be honest. And sometimes it's just a different way to, for me to communicate with people if I don't want uh, overhype to happen during a video release. I'll release an email beforehand and that's what I did today for this video um, I re released an email to those of you who have subscribed and I'll go over that right now uh, so that because I know people are complaining I signed up but I didn't get the email uh, so I'll go over it right now but just be like be warned that next time I do this I'll, I'll just release the email first and then I'll release the video later and maybe I will maybe I won't talk about it so um, definitely sign up for that and and just as another form of communication. So what I said in the email is that there's some other 10x coins that are coming to be soon. And those 10x coins are not really new things. Like I said, I don't really chase the next hottest, newest, shiniest object. Um, I look at what's good and what people are going like, to gravitate towards. And if, if it looks like it's going to hold on, then I stick with it. And those two coins, again, we've talked about these in the past. They're Moonday.finance and Charge.finance. Now, specifically with both of these coins, well, let's talk about Moonday day first. Um, now I officially know what their next DAP is going to be, and it's really, really exciting. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a teaser about the DAP, but I'm not going to talk about it until uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. That's when I'm releasing my video and everyone else is releasing their videos, and uh, that's when it's going to be launched as well. So um, be on the lookout for like all the stuff to pop up at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Thursday tomorrow. Uh, so uh, just to let you guys know, for that DAP, you will need Moonday tokens. So what I kind of did was I stocked up on some Moonday tokens. And, you know, I'll talk about... I really, I really want to figure out when the best time to buy is. So I bought some now. I want to try and buy some more probably now as well. But if you have Moonday tokens in the Moonday Finance DAP already, so you can see I have 14 in here, those don't count. You can't use those for the next DAP. Uh, you need to have fresh Moonday tokens. Now, why that's a great thing is because it's going to really help support the price of the coin. So as the price of the coin is supported from people using this new DAP, um, and also, like, it's also going to not lock up, but it's going to keep... Uh, incentive for people to hold the Moonday token even longer, which they've been doing a really good job. Like 90% of all these altcoins that, that release, like they die within hours. And Moonday has been up for a couple days and it's been holding on really strong, even through some pretty hard waves of FUD. Uh, so with this new DAP, it's going to promote that even more. And as people are earning with either one of the DAPs, they can kind of compound by moving, like I could claim my dividends in here and then put them in the next DAP tomorrow. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm done selling my tokens for now until this DAP is launched. And I'm actually buying more tokens, hopefully on the cheap, fingers crossed. Um, uh, and then I think as soon as that next DAP launches, I think it's going to be Moontown uh, no matter what. And like the price is going to be supported and there's going to be some other like benefits and perks as well uh, with this new dap but again like i said i know it's kind of vague i'll go into more detail like in a lot of detail at 1 p.m eastern standard time tomorrow with the video that i release but just like i said be just be prepared be prepared with your moon day tokens if you want to participate if you want to just watch from the sidelines and join later that's totally your prerogative you can do that uh, but you know with all things in crypto whether you're buying coins or getting into dapps or platforms or whatever you're always way better off if you're one of the first people to do it as opposed to one of the last people to do it um, so that's just something to keep in mind so looking forward to moon day uh, and another thing i do think that this thing can hit a million dollar market cap as soon as this next app is launched so uh, we'll see it go up and i don't know like uh, i've been wrong in the past um so you know full disclosure right there maybe this is just going to be a complete and total failure but i i just doubt it um and you know i was wrong about boom.finance boom.finance is another one that they dropped the ball today they uh they <laughs> what do they do they they they're they had a flaw in their contract where they couldn't do anything and then like a lot of people sold at the loss and they're doing an airdrop but in, in in times like this in crypto since they didn't really do anything revolutionary or new i think a lot of people are just going to kind of move on uh you know you, you only have 
one chance really if you're not developing something new but we'll see maybe boom will will rebound they are doing an airdrop and hopefully people can re recoup some of their losses with the, the airdrop token if not make even more from the success of boom uh, so the next thing i want to talk about is we're going to move ahead from moonday.finance and we're going to talk about charge.finance uh, so this is another one that i talked about recently and again this is also in my email i, I know it, you might be feel, feeling kind of tricked where's the new coin well um that's the thing like a lot of people they look at these coins and then they say i feel like i've missed out man i miss i missed charge.finance i heard people saying that from 100 dollars to 400 dollars to 800 dollars to 900 dollars and i'm like man for the first person that said i missed out on charge.finance because it went 3x you could have had a 3x if you bought during the 3x uh so you know really just evaluate the coin don't evaluate the the hype don't evaluate based on emotion and the price movement um, like in reality, this thing hasn't even moved at all yet. Uh, you guys are at the beginning. You guys are the first people to buy it. Uh, I think once the liquidity is added to charge.finance, once people start farming with this, that's when the public beyond just the king of FOMO side of things is going to see this coin. And that's when you're going to start to see real growth and like sustained uh, growth that doesn't go back down to this price that you're looking at right now. So that's charge.finance. I'm looking forward to their farm that they're launching. And it's kind of, it's really nice because it like lines up perfectly with Moon Day. Moon Day launches tomorrow. Charge.finance launches on Friday, so the next day. So you have like two things to look forward to with that. Um, so definitely cool stuff with this. Now they did have some scare. And if you guys are, if you guys connect with the communities, then you don't, you won't be scared. So um, like charge.finance, they had a, uh, I guess they had a DDoS attack because I guess people wanted to buy their coins cheaper and they DDoS the, the website and people panicked and sold. Some people did. Me and many others didn't because the, the team was responsive. They said it was a DDoS attack. We'll be up in a little bit and they were up in a little bit and prices has rebounded back up to $900. It went down to like, I don't know, 600. I don't know. I wasn't even looking at the time. It was like, it's, it's going to rebound back. And I don't care about the price until Friday, to be honest. So definitely look forward to charge.finance. If you're looking for a new 10 X's, like I said, I, I do truly believe that the potential is there for these things to go 10 X. Uh, and I don't think that that's outlandish because you only need really a million dollar market cap for both of these things to get to 10 X. Um, and this one already has a million dollar market cap. So, you know, can go even higher than that moon day same deal here uh and as these coins are supported by more and more people i think the price is just going to be supported more and more as well and the dApps are definitely going to help in my opinion rather than hurt in this system and then finally the last thing i want to cover is honey swap or, or the honey token so still sitting at about thousand dollars the reason why this one's getting a little bit more interesting is because um we're, we're kind of entering like a second wave of of the crypto bull market which is a good thing if you're holding Ethereum and Bitcoin and all these other coins, but um, it's not really a good thing if you're using dApps to do transactions. And I think that this wave might be the wave that pushes people to second layer solutions or think using things like OneHive, using things like HoneySwap, because it's just like, it's a no brainer. Um, if, you, if you can trade coins on the second layer and have no fees to do that, people are going to do that. And I think that HoneySwap has, set itself a foundation now enough for people to understand how it works and enough for for uh, migration and adoption to start happening uh, it hasn't happened yet but um it, it will i think it'll definitely happen if we see another like wave of twenty dollar transactions people aren't going to put up with that like there's a solution right here and it's it's working pretty smooth for honey swap right now so definitely on the lookout for that anyway that's everything for today guys make sure you comment like subscribe and you're subscribed to the newsletter the telegram chat again you guys know that i don't spam you with with a bunch of crap you guys are up it's up to you to listen to whatever you want to listen to or, or to skip out on whatever you want to skip out on and i try to give you guys quality over quantity but at the same time i try to give you guys quantity too i don't want to like leave you guys hanging for too long that's everything for today guys i'll catch you in the next video peace out